Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Apple. Um, they had a pretty decent day. I got some uh, information that uh, just came out about them. Talked about them quite a few times here on the channel. Um, here's a look at what they've uh, done over the last year, up over uh, 38%. So they could have got in uh, a year ago in the uh, 119, 120 range. In the uh, past three months, they're actually down about 3%. In the uh, last month, up over a little bit over 9%. Could have got a dip by there. Here in the uh, last week, they're up 7.6%. So still could have had a uh, decent week there, buying some back there. I bought some in the uh, 158s in uh, one of my accounts. And um, should have bought some more now if I'd have known it was going to run up like this. And here's a look at what they've uh, done today. So, um, could have got in early at the 167, 168 range and went up a couple bucks. So, again, Apple AAPL. As you can see, I have seven and a partial shares here. So, um, one thing I always like to point out here on uh, Robinhood, if you don't have $170, you can throw 10 20 $50 at it, buy a partial share here on Robinhood, so if you don't have Robinhood, uh, you can find a link to that in the uh, description, and you can get some free stock, and so can I. Another uh, platform you can use is uh, M1 Finance, again, the link is in the description, and um, Charles Schwab, you can also buy, uh, I think they call it Slices on there as well, so if you don't know much about Apple, uh, they you're probably watching this on a Apple device, uh, most of you. So uh, they make tablets, uh, smartphones, uh, quite a few different products. Been around since uh, 1976. Volume of 98.06 million and average of 100 million. 2.78 million dollar market cap. 52 week low of 118.86 and a high of 182.94. So. I was watching it when it got up to the 180s. I uh, thought about cashing out, but uh, didn't. And this one also does give a uh, dividend, uh, 0 0.52. So not much, but better than nothing. So you get the uh, appreciation along with the um, dividend. Pretty decent ratings on this one, a 77% buy. Here's a look at their um, earnings. Uh, next is expected on April 28th. Here's a look at my uh, last couple of uh, dividends. So they pay $0.22 cents per quarter, or pretty much like $0.07 cents a month. So that's uh, based on this. So take that times this, and that equals $1.58. So probably be a little, so it would be, what, $1.44? I think that's right off the top of my head without the partial share. So, um, but... Why Apple stock uh, looks tasty today. Uh, what happened? The shares of the uh, tech giant uh, were off to the races on Wednesday afternoon, up 2% as of 1.40 Eastern. And likely, uh, thanks to the upbeat note uh, from the investment uh, bank, uh, Wellbush, uh, this morning. So, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, buy that dip this morning, but uh, I got in on the 158 about a week ago, so... Uh, but definitely should have bought more. So in the note today, uh, Wellbush uh, cited a stellar iPhone uh, 13 demand globally. As for the basis for its optimism of on the stock, the iPhone uh, 13 sales are strong in the United States, particularly uh, strong in uh, China, and said uh, MarketWatch with Apple picking up another 3% of the uh, market share in the uh, latter nation. What's more, uh, Wellbush uh, said it believes an Apple is in a uh, elongated uh, product cycle and that the iPhone 13 success will turn into the drum roll of the iPhone 14 this fall, keeping today's rally going all year long. And that's on top of the, a prediction that the uh, company will sell 30 million uh, new 5G-capable mm -hmm. iPhone SEs this year. For what it's worth, investment banker J.P. Morgan uh, seems to um, mostly agree. In a separate uh, note, it points out the incremental uh, data points uh, that uh, support our positive outlook uh, for the iPhone 13. 2022 uh, could be only the uh, start of the good news, so that's always uh, good to hear. So if that's um, part of the uh, deal, uh, might want to look into uh, buying some shares 
Um, definitely some more, but again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice, so you just have to decide that on your own. So, peering uh, deeper than uh, usual into its crystal ball, Wall Street analysts uh, usually only uh, forecast uh, 12 months out. Uh, Wellbush predicts Apple's uh, monster growth cycle will continue over the uh, next 12 to 18 months. So, and the stock could run up again and uh, split like it did a while back. So. Um, that's always a good thing. So, over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, currently showing it as a buy with a one year price target of 193.53. So, you got a little bit more room to run. Apple stock climbs higher in this uh, key pattern and how to enter the trade. This is out of uh, five hours ago. Apple has settled into another bullish uh, flag pattern on the hourly chart. The uh, bull flag pattern is created with a uh, sharp rise higher forming the pull which uh, then followed by a consolidation pattern that brings the stock lower between the channel and the parallel lines. For bearish traders, the trend is your friend until it's not, and the stock may continue downwards uh, within the following channel for a short period of time. Uh, when Apple hit a uh, bottom near 150 level on uh, March 14th, and so missed that uh, just a couple days ago, so... It is a reversed course and has uh, since risen 15% higher to reach a high of 172.64. That would have been a good day to do an option. The stock has uh, still begun uh, to consolidate on the hourly chart. Consolidation looks to be uh, setting up another bull flag. So far, Apple has created and broken up bullishly from the uh, five hourly uh, bull flag patterns over the past seven trading days. And if the stock breaks up from the uh, current flag formation, the measured uh, move is about 3%. So if you're looking to trade this one and did it right, you could make a couple bucks here and there, just depending on how many uh, shares you're trading. So Apple stock outperforms market on a strong trading day. And again, this is just out uh, four hours ago. Shares are up inched 0.82% uh, higher to 170.21 Wednesday on what proved to be an all-around uh, grim trading session for the stock market with the NASDAQ composite falling 1.32% to 13,922.60 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average falling 1.29% to 34,358.50. Stock seven consecutive day of gains. Apple closed $12.73 above the 52-week high of 182.94, which a company reached on January 4th. So if you get a sold out here and rebought at the 150 level, you'd made a really good return. So about $32 a share. Apple's a small fintech acquisition could proceed a credit card takeover. And as you can see, this is just out today, just an hour or so ago. For more crisp and insightful uh, business and economic news, you can subscribe here. Uh, again, you can find all this on uh, NASDAQ. Apple officially uh, removed a computer from its name in 2007 as a nod to the uh, company's shift to consumer electronics like the iPhone. Since then, Apple has uh, conquered more than uh, just smartphones, lucrative digital services like the App Store, Apple Pay, and Apple Music. Earned a combined $19.5 in the last three months of 2021. So mere mortals uh, might simply uh, rest on those uh, laurels, but uh, not the most uh, valuable company in the world. On Wednesday, Apple said it is acquiring UK fintech credit kudos in what uh, could be the first step toward an attempted takeover of the international consumer credit market. So uh, Tim Cook has said in January that uh, Apple Card, the uh, company's uh, credit card available only in the United States, is showing stunning growth. But despite uh, Cook's previously uh, stated uh, desire to the, uh, offer the cards everywhere, financial regulations abroad uh, mean a global credit card uh, product launch is not uh, nearly as simple as exporting a few shipping containers of the new iPhone. So just have to see what they uh, come up with there. So less than a three-year-old uh, London-based 
the fintech specializing in uh, credit checks, the uh, company which Apple paid $150 million for could give Apple Card a path to the UK thanks to its uh, business model, then uh, well, things are uh, different. So, very interesting uh, to see they're uh, getting into fintech and uh, credit card and um, see what that does to the um, stock as well. So, so big credit uh, by performing uh, credit checks on someone's current finances rather than their financial past, allowing approval credit worthy applicants who slip through the cracks of legacy companies like the uh, major ones here, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Not only uh, could Apple use the uh, company's tech to enhance Apple Card's uh, credit checker in the United States, it could also serve as a stepping stone to Apple's establishing itself as a provider of financial products in Britain, uh, where South Korea's Samsung introduced its Samsung Pay Card in 2020. So, very interesting and cool information. So... Apple buys a UK open banking uh, tech startup, uh, Credit Kudos. So just m some more information on a, a different website, uh, Silicon Angle. We'll see if they have any additional information that uh, the last article didn't f have. The firm, uh, which began raising money in early 2020, has secured about a $10.3 in venture capital funding. Three people will uh, acknowledge the uh, deal reportedly uh, confirmed the acquisition of the uh, block today, saying it concluded earlier this week. Uh, neither Apple nor uh, Credit Kudos has yet made any announcement. Apple Chief's Chief Executive uh, Tim Cook uh, said during a visit to uh, Germany in 2019 that he is interested in uh, bringing the Apple Card to uh, international markets. However, launching a credit product in new markets is not easy. To do so, Apple needs access to the consumer credit data in each market it targets. Also feasible that Apple might adapt uh, Credit Kudos technology to work the United States open banking frameworks to strengthen uh, credit checks in its home market. So, who knows where they'll go with this uh, acquisition. It's really interesting, it looks like to me. So, I've just started investing in only uh, buying stocks like Apple, Google, and uh, VU. What other uh, low-risk ways I can invest for the next 10 years? So, I would add um, Amazon to that. But again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. Possibly uh, Tesla. They had a high today. Um, Google's going to be splitting. Amazon's going to be splitting. Uh, that's what I would add. So, But there's days I feel I should just dump my money into Apple and say the heck with the rest. But um, I like to diversify. So over here on uh, MSN Money, currently uh, showing it as a buy. And here on Tip Ranks, currently as a, a strong buy. So 23 a buy and 5 at a hold. With a 13.6% upside to $193.36. High of 215, low of 161. So, but that's all that I have on uh, Apple. If you have any uh, Apple, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis. Any other information you'd like to share. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.